former Blue John Solanke scoring in both. He starts here, as do some other young players. The Cherries have done well to hang on to, like Philip Billing and David Brooks. As for Chelsea, well, we're expecting near enough two different 11s to have 45 each year, with another 11 not yet. The starting front men, Ziyech, Pulisic and Abraham all have points to prove. There are forgotten men like Baker and Drinkwater and young hopefuls like Gallagher and Malang Saar, who's in at the back this evening. It is the squad as a whole that is on many minds just now, especially the size of it. Just a couple of weeks with a growing group of players, several of whom Thomas Tuchel has barely seen. Loans to come for sure, sales and acquisitions too, but perhaps just a little room for some to catch his keen eye, while a few of the regular names are still missing. The pre-season drill never changes, even if the personnel does. Don't get injured, do get fit, and if you're amongst the fringe, get yourself noticed. Game three for Bournemouth, game two of sorts for Chelsea, if you count the training ground out here against Peterborough, where six goals went in for the Blues and only one against. Early got a look in, Mason Mount played a big part, of course. Here is hudson Adoy. it's a great ball, how's the take from Pulisic? Just good enough as he rolls it through for Abraham, there's no flag. Bournemouth getting back, here's Ziyech, chance to hit it. He knew he was going to. You know what's interesting about that? Stacey keeps it moving. It's a lovely ball from Brooks to Dom Solanke. Really well tracked all the way by Lewis Baker. And, and they could catch. There's a break on here. Connor Gallagher's played a good first time ball. Ziesch. Can he get the pass right to Hudson Adoy? It's a bit of a bouncer. Shooting chance though. And I'm glad he took that on. That's what you want to see him doing. Uh, we'll expect to be worked. There's a little gap there, you know. Alonso couldn't quite find it. As I see. Maybe I've been too close for Marcus. The other end has had a little more to do, but nothing too spectacular. Drink water. Well, he's trying the monster switch, and he's succeeded. Hudson Adoy taking on Adam Smith. That's what you want to see, and Travers has had something to do now. He's pulled off a fabulous save to deny Tammy Abraham the opening goal. And there but is Callum. Most of us don't know. Huge amount about him, but interesting to see him in a blue shirt. Bought and loaned straight out to Porto, but was a, a regular in his uh, relatively early teens with Nice. Marcus Alonso, as usual, finding himself in a centre forward position as Ziesch looks for a corner, doesn't get it, and boots the ball in frustration. There's incredible, very, very unusual. Ziyech starting to see more of the ball. Nice weight there. Abraham again on target. Didn't quite get that wallop behind it that he wanted. But sing the good half. As has Danny Drinkwater. That's an Adoy finding Ziyech. It's delicate. Would have been a lovely goal. And Tammy Abraham, if anything, needed just a little less on it than he got back. Do you know what? I'm just delighted to Help back in by Loftus Cheek, back out again by Rossi. There's such a lot of goodwill for Ruben Loftus Cheek. You can sense it amongst the supporters beneath us. Gallagher's got dispossessed, and Brooks is in one on one. Best chance of the game, and he's put it wide. What an opportunity blown by David Brooks, one of the classiest players on show for either side here. Philip Billing, home fans enjoyed that. Here's Brooks, sitter missed. Billing mopping up, neatly done as well to Stacey. And that was even more neatly done by Brooks. Still, Stacey cutting it back, great chance. Mendy in the way. And that's twice Bournemouth have gone close, but now Chelsea. And he's in the box. It's found Chalaba here. And there's a free header. Well, it's on target from uh, Matt Miazga.
Condes with the right. It is. Oh, and it's not that far off. Had it been on target, Mendy was rooted. It's a bit of control, that, for Mendy. Distribution, that might be one of the minor question marks, and I'm really nitpicking here with what was otherwise an excellent season. Brooks finding Stacey here. Stacey bangs it across the team. Could have gone anywhere. Pinball in the Chelsea box. Bournemouth should have taken the lead early in this game. They have taken the lead now. It did stem from a less than ideal clearance from Chelsea's goalkeeper, Pat. Yeah, and it wasn't a good ball too, to be fair. You know, it's really hard to take that ball there. It's bouncing, he's, he's had to go round. You know, he should have maybe had it with his left foot and just played his lines. Tried to do it with his right foot, but the ball's played in there. Not much you can do about defending. When the ball's got to the byline, we got to that byline time and again in the first half. But that just stepped straight to the right inside there, right on his head. And nothing uh, many can do about that. And let's see what this uh, makeshift second half side can do. A big smile for Emiliano Marcondes. And a famous goal. Did I tell you about the time I scored against the Champions of Europe? Let's hope it's not the match winner against the Champions of Europe. Not that results matter at this point in time, but you know what I mean. It's a challenge that gets you cautious, yes. but uh, Baba Rahman managed to get something on it. Well, he was a fabulous deliverer of the ball when at Augsburg, and he's done it brilliantly there for Brodja, who's equalised. Baba Rahman, Armando Brodja, 1-1. Well, I'm watching the assistant referee there, and everyone else is turning around watching the assistant referee. It's OK, there's no VAR. Yep, yeah, the wall will stand, we're not really worrying about that, but, I mean, good commenting, mate. You just said, <laughs> superb delivery. You didn't get the words fully out of your mouth. And I mean, good willingness as well. I mean, it was a bad touch there, but, you know, go and win it back. Do the right thing. Win the ball back again then, and go and attack it. Put it into the danger area. We shall see it here. No, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good ball, and he's absolutely on side. Really well delivered. Really calmly controlled, in fairness. And what a lovely moment for Armando Roger. 19 years young, composed. Maybe a little nick off the defender on its way through, but that's a fabulous delivery from Baba Rahman. Yep. Many strikers on Chelsea's books at the moment. That's in for 2-1. Ross Barkley curls in a beauty, and it's nodded in by E.K. Ugbo from, what, a foot out? Yeah, just as you say there, um, not that many strikers around. Fine enough. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a nice little ball in there, you know, near post, but I mean, defenders have got to be that, really. You've got to defend that a lot bit better if you're a defender, but if you're a striker, you've got to look where the weaknesses are. You know, lost a goal there, but the reaction has been, let's see, a bit magnificent. Bravo to the two young forwards. Rogers come on, scored a goal, won that corner. 